In Tasmania's remote and quiet southwest, the most action Edgar Dam usually sees is from campers and bushwalkers. It's something in the order of one in 10,000 likelihood in any given year that there could be an earthquake of the size that could lead to a failure of the dam. Edgar Dam is one of three edging Lake Pedder, feeding water into the Gordon Hydro Power Station. Edgar lies next to a fault that was once thought to be inactive. But since it was built 50 years ago, the science around earthquakes and dam engineering has improved and the Lake Edgar Fault has since been deemed active. In the unlikely event an earthquake were to occur and rupture the dam, it could lead to flooding in the Huon Valley. The absolute minimum duration from, from us being aware that there's been an earthquake to seeing any water in, in Huonville uh, as it rises is something in the order of at least 10 hours. Hydro Tasmania has held an information session for concerned residents about its plans to manage earthquake risk by putting more rock on the downstream side of the dam at a cost of $21 million. Hydro's engineering analysis and inundation modelling has been shared with emergency services, but not the public. That information out of context wouldn't want that to, to unsettle people unnecessarily. Tasmanians are not children. We don't need the hydro to make a decision on our behalf as to whether we can cope with documents showing us the risk. Christine Milne is the head of a group pushing to drain Lake Pedder. Well, I think if it's a risk, the best way of doing it is to remove the dam altogether, restore Lake Pedder and give this community a permanent solution. That's something the state government is not considering. It's also really important to remember how important Lake Pedder is when it comes to renewables, when it comes um, to hydro. Hydro plans to start its upgrades in 2023. Ellen Coulter, ABC News.